show you exactly how I took a uh, crummy accordion sample played by me. I don't know the first thing about accordion and turned it into a great simpler instrument. First thing I'm going to do is take the sound folder and import it right into my Ableton library. It was off an old Cubase session, probably from Cubase 3 back in 2005. And I'm just going to take the folder right there and just import it right into the library. And once I do that, you'll be able to see it in the left corner. It comes right into my little user section. So let's open it up and pull up the file, bring it in, try and find something to work with. Sometimes it's not the easiest thing to find a section that you like, uh, especially with a bad recording, but there's usually something you can find. Okay, so this sample seems to work for my purposes right now. So what I'm going to do is just delete everything else here. And now just export the one sample to make it its own audio recording. And the reason for this is when you do that in Simpler, the smaller the uh, audio file you have to work with, the less space it'll take up, less processing, etc. So right now I just want just the sample that I want to work with. It'll be easier to navigate and simpler too. You know, you'd have to look around all over the place inside of the actual instrument to find the sample you want to use. Okay, so right now I'm just going to create a MIDI track and then insert the simpler instrument located on your left hand side into the MIDI track pull the small file that we just made into that simpler instrument and let's see what we've got. Sometimes you don't know the note that's being played for the sample so the best thing to do to figure it out so you can transpose it what I like to do is just pull up a tuner and play the note C and show me what it plays. Now it's showing me C sharp. So I'll just transpose it to the right key. To get to the transposing section you just go up to controls in your top right hand corner of your simpler instrument. And now I'm just doing fine tuning to make sure it sounds the way I want it to. Sounds like an accordion to me. Alright, now after I do a little fine tuning of where the attack for the sample starts, I'm going to find a section that I want to loop and sometimes you can change it around to make different sections to loop that can create some cool rhythm stuff. So I'm just going to give you some examples of different loops that you can make.
warp mode is a very useful feature for you to, you know, figure out exactly how to use the sample the correct way. Here I'm using complex, uh, and I'm going to show you the options that it gives you here. So some are different and work better for other instruments, like drums, etc. So now that I like the way that the instrument is looping, I'm going to save the sampler instrument. You know, just name it whatever you want right now. I'm just keeping it simple. And then what I'm going to do after that is open up an instrument rack so we can add some effects and make the instrument unique in our own. First, let's add an arpeggiator to have some fun with it. And here, as I'm going through some of the sounds, if you right-click on the controls, you can add them to the instrument rack controls and assign them where you like. However, with the arpeggiator, I don't really like the direction that it goes as you turn it up. So what I'm going to do is go into macro mode, which when you right-click on the control, will allow you to go into that mode and change things how you see fit. This way you can change the parameters of your control for whatever control surface you decide to use. So I'm just going to right click. Now the instrument's going in the direction that I wanted it to. I'm also going to assign the cutoff and resonance to their own controls, so it'll operate very much like a, a synth in waves. Okay, now that I've done that, maybe I'll add a little bit of reverb and some delay, just keeping it simple right now, and assign some of those parameters so we can have a little fun with our uh, control section. It's got a nice church organ-y kind of sound to it. So right there, it really took on a life of its own and had a angelic kind of quality to it. 
Does it sound like an accordion? No, not necessarily. But I can make it sound like an accordion if I want, and I can also make it sound like a lot of other nice things. The harmonics in the instrument themselves really come to life when you have a little fun with them. I like adding a limiter at the end of the instrument rack chain in case the instrument is too loud or in case it's too soft in this opinion I felt like the sample could have been a little bit louder. Not all samples are the same. So there you have it. I'm going to save my work and if you like the sound of these accordion samples and use Ableton, you can get some for free at ExpandingSound.com. Thanks a lot for watching.